What's going on guys? It's your boy John Liquidator coming back with another video and I'm here to tell you Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark both down in Florida at the exact same time. Is this a coincidence or is it more to the story for this one here? We got to go down to Florida. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John Liquidator, coming back with another video. And I'm here to tell you, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, both down in Florida at the exact same time. Is this a coincidence or is it more to the story for this one here? We got to go down to Florida. Let's get it. Let's go. <coughs> Now, when I first started really analyzing everything that was transpiring these last 48 hours, I knew I wasn't tripping. And I'm here to tell you, though, it looked like Kayla Clark and Angel Reese could be cooking up something special. Now, I know y'all saying, John, why would they both be like in on something when we know Caitlin's over here, Angel's over there? This is why. Angel Reese was just at a Magic's game down in Orlando, Florida. Guess who they was playing? The Indiana Pacers. Roll the foot. That was Angel Reese down in Florida at the Orlando versus Pacers game. That was crazy. She went to the game where they was playing Caitlin Clark pretty much brother team. Now, we know Caitlin is down in Florida. What's down in Florida as well? The golfing event at Cambridge at the Anika tournament this past weekend. Now, let me show you guys a map real quick. Pull up the map. As you guys can see here, there's two maps I'm going to show you guys. But this one right here is the first one. This is Caitlin Clark at the Pro Amateur event, right? That was in Tampa. A few hours later. Caitlin Clark end up in Palm Beach. Caitlin Clark had another six-figure speaking event in Palm Beach, Florida. Today, mind you guys, check this out right here. So this is Caitlin Clark at this speaking event. Let me pull it up. So this is Caitlin Clark earlier today at a speaking event. Scratch the shoes. Scratch all of that. This is was filmed in Palm Beach. I mean, this picture was taken in Palm Beach. Now, this is a speaking of it for who? Goldman Sachs. Yes, Sachs Fifth Avenue, the designer store, bro. This was a speaking of it for Goldman Sachs. I'll tell you why this is all big-time news for Caitlin. See, a lot of people has been bashing Caitlin Clark agent these last couple days. Ever since the information dropped about Nike, it seemed like a lot of folks have been bashing her agent. Caitlyn agent is playing a bigger role, a bigger story, which is a whole nother video that I'm going to dissect because I've been privy to some information these last 48 hours. But back to this story right here. So as you guys can see here, Caitlyn Clark is in Palm Beach, Florida. Now let's pull the damn map back up right now. You can see here, this is... Caitlin Clark at the Palm Beach interview about what? 45 minutes away from Unrival. Hmm. Now, her teammate, Caitlin, her ex teammate, Kate Martin, took the social media today to drop this message right here. Roll the footage. You're going to find out who's playing on which club November 20th, so make sure you mark it down. And on that same day, pre-sale tickets to Unrivaled Games are going live. If you're not already a subscriber to our newsletter, you should be, because that's how you get access to the pre-sale. You can hit that subscribe button through the link in our bio. And for the rest of you, tickets go on sale November 21st. Thanks, everyone, for all the support. You know what to do when the tickets go live. You're going to find out who's playing on which club November 20th. Now, that was Kate Martin, being the spokesperson for the most part for the Unrivaled League. Let it be known. Don't forget, guys, 
Don't forget, November the 20th, the last player will be announced. Let's pull the damn map back up again. So as you guys can see here, on the map, Caitlin Clark was down. 45 minutes away from Unrivaled. Now, I'm not saying she's finna join. Now, I know a lot of y'all might not like Angel, but I got a map on her too. And I'm finna show y'all this right here. Pull up Angel damn map. This is Angel map as it coexists with Caitlyn's. Angel Reese was at the Orlando, Orlando Magic game here. Caitlin Clark was here at the Pro Amateur event. As you guys can see, they're very close in proximity to each other. Caitlin Clark interview was here. Boom. Right here in Palm Beach. We already know Angel Reese is already a member of Unrivaled. Right? Angel Reese also has a video going viral of her getting it in. That drop pretty much today of her working out, going the extra mile for this unrival event. Let's roll the footage right now. So this was Angel Reese footage dropping today. Now, as y'all can see, she in a lap getting it in for this unrival league. Now, y'all remember the map, right? The map showing that uh she was in Florida also. Now, somebody gave me this idea. What if Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese is in on a major deal with Unrival that is involving both of them to where they have to coexist, they have to do business deals together, something like that? What if Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark has been friends this whole time? What if Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark has been playing cat and mouse for everybody because it's making both of them Lots and lots of money. What if Angel Reese and Kayla Clark are truly best friends? We will never know. But one thing I can say is it's looking real spooky for Kayla Clark and Angel Reese, bro. I just got to keep it real because both of them being down in Florida around this time is not no damn coincidence. Now, that is my theory about it all. But just like I stated, I got a big time story about the drop about Kayla Clark agent. Now we know Kayla Clark agent been on a media tour as of recently, breaking down information, talking about Kayla Clark. We also know that Nike, ex Nike executive, went on record claiming that Kayla Clark might have been snubbed out of some money with Nike. Well, what if I was to tell you that maybe her agent isn't to blame, somebody else is, and just maybe. Everything with Nike is done on purpose. We just want sitting waiting. What if Nike really isn't playing Caitlin Clark? What if Nike is just playing us as fans? Because we want to control the narrative, but not knowing that everything they already have put together for Caitlin is already together. They're just waiting to get the kinks out. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because I'm telling you right now, it's about to get real. And until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here, baby. Peace out. Shake the haters.